Good morning. I'm Mary Ellen from the channel Mary Ellen After 60. And today I am going, these are my favorites and this is my best favorites ever. You might think my very best, best favorites is because of what's on my head and it's not. I do love this. And this is a wig that I purchased from Wig Studio One. Absolutely love it. I was watching my friend Marlene and I'm going to link her channel below and, and a, a specific video also. She has a, a beauty channel and then a wig review channel and I was watching one of her videos and I loved the wig she was wearing. I kind of had been wanting a wig but I hadn't seen anything that I just thought oh my gosh I gotta try that. So I left a message and I said I think this is one that I might really be interested in. I am not going to review the wig. The only thing I know about it, it has a lace front and if you have your hair back you can't see and then in the middle you can part it several different ways and it looks like it is your scalp. That's what I know about it. This is how I wore my hair for years. More times than not I had bangs but I liked everything about this wig. I have not done anything to it. I got it out of the box oh a couple of weeks ago and shook it. I put it on this collapsible wig, wig stand that I bought when I got my very first wig some time ago and then I sprayed it with some um, dry shampoo. I have not worn it out of the house yet but I've worn it around. I've had it on for several hours this morning and it's just really comfortable. Jim likes it a lot. He goes, uh, do you think you could get that in another color? And I said, uh, not if you knew how much it was. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to link Marlene's video where she talked about this below and she can give you the details if you're interested. But I'm thrilled with it. When I put it on for my sister, she said, oh my gosh, that, that is your natural color. That, that It's your color. And like right here, that's my own hair. I just don't like to wear my hair down like this. I never did like to have my hair in my face. But I know I could style this many different ways. But anyway, I just wanted to share with you because I was really excited about it. But what I am the most excited about, I think it was last October I told you that I had lost my key fob and that it was going to be around $400 to replace it. And I gave myself until April to find it. And you'll see where this story's going. Every month, I, I still keep up my two-year planner. And I, this is my 22-23. But what I do the beginning of every month, I put things that I want to accomplish before the end of the month. And on my one for April, it was to find my key fob. Not I wasn't going to order it until the month of April was over. But I put down what I'm going to do, and then I put down the telephone number. So whenever I want to, I can just pick this up and book for it. I lost my key fob on August 19th and I remember the day perfectly. It was kind of a little bit something of a stressful sense. It was kind of a stressful situation. I received a telephone call. I needed to leave quickly and and I left. Well, I'll show you where I found it. Now, these pants are from Land's End and they are a heavier knit. They have a thick waistband and they also have a tiny hidden pocket here. I hang up 99.9% .9 of my clothing. I have a drawer where I put a few older pair of slacks, a, a older pair of jeans, and that morning I guess I just got in the drawer, grabbed these, put on a top, and I left. And I was gone for about an hour. And when I came home, I, I know, I'm sure that I thought, well these are a little bit too heavy for August. So I took them off and normally what I do is I put them in my closet in a certain area, things that I've worn that I don't need to wash right away. So anyway, I was going through my clothing, getting ready to make some donations and I lifted these up. They were on a hanger and I thought That's, that feels, I mean these are heavy but it felt pretty heavy, heavier than it should. And I looked and it was in here. So I, w I was so excited. I don't know when I have been more excited about something because I just didn't want to deal with not only buying it, you have to take your car and have it reprogrammed. So I have my tile attached to it. So if I ever lose it again, all I have to do is go to my phone and you have to have a smartphone. 
and activate my tile and I'll find it. I have a tile on both of my key fobs. I have one for my car and the van and then Jim has one for his keys and then I have some to you can put it in a wallet. They're just wonderful. The only bad thing is you have to have a smartphone. I don't think they'll work if you don't have a smartphone. These made my yearly favorites last year. I bought a lot of them for gifts and I just really like the tile finders. They're, um, you can locate something and I think some of them are like three football fields, like 900 or 1,000 square yards, something like that. But anyway, that is my story and I love it. For the past year, I have been really good about making notations on my computer. When I see something that someone else has mentioned that I'm interested in trying, I've been really good about writing it down because I hate it when I find something and I can't remember who made me think about it. Well, I was watching Melissa 55 and I saw something that she had that I wanted so much. And the reason I wanted it, this is how I carry my phone, just like this. I have used a leather phone case from Shilden Leathers. They sent me my first one years ago, and anytime I've gotten a phone, I've gotten another one, and I've bought, purchased a lot of these as gifts. Anyway, they're, it's leather, and it's um, kind of thick. It, you know, can be a stand, but I didn't think I could ever have the ability to charge it without plugging it in. And Melissa showed this, and this is by Anchor, and I've had several things by Anchor before that I really liked, but look at this. I can put this on my table. I have this sitting by my bedside. I can put it on there and it just charges. So thrilled to get that and uh, I was really glad that I remembered who made me think of it, my friend Melissa. So it's, it's really great. Now this is something I really like, but I think anybody who uses a sewing machine could make these a lot less expensive than they are. They're called Bowl Cozies. And if you want to drink, so you can put this in the microwave. You can put your bowl and this cozy in the microwave and like for soup and then you just take it out and you can hold it. Well, I also need it for if I want something really cold, my hands in the summer, winter, whatever, and I don't have rain odds, but I just am really sensitive to cold. I can just put my bowl in there and it keeps my fingers really warm. It doesn't, they don't get cold and it will fit every size bowl that I have. I think these would make wonderful gifts. If I was sewing, I would, I would do it. There's some padding in between. They're machine washable and I really like them. Nothing real exciting here, but it's just the stuff that I, that's made me happy. I like the mercury glass thermometers that you cannot buy anywhere at all. And I still have two of them and I treat them like they are 24 karat gold. But I wanted to get one of those quick touchless or whatever kind of um, thermometers. And I found this probably six months ago or seven months ago on uh, Amazon. And I'm not sure if they still have it or not. But I have checked this against my mercury thermometer and it's been right every time. You just turn it on and it will go green. And then you just put it up to a forehead and it tells you your temperature. And I always have like 97, so it's been accurate. Uh, one day, Jim had a little bit of a fever and I checked it and, and it was right. And he let me put the mercury thermometer in too, just so I could double check it. I, ke I have kept off my 22 pounds. I've lost one more pound, so that's 23 pounds since last March, over a year ago. Hardest thing is, is keeping it off, but so far so good. Well, Built Bars really has helped me, and I am not trying to sell Built Bars. I just really like them, and they came out with something called Built Puffs, and I talked to you some time ago about them, and I'm not, the way I do my YouTube videos, I'm not there to give you information real quickly. So a lot of times before I do a video, they're already out of something I love, but they had something called a Churro, C-H-U-R-R-O, Built Puff. It's like marshmallow with a little bit of cinnamon. At one time they had vanilla, they had strawberry, they had mint, and they're high protein, low carb. They don't cause me to crave anything. And I don't think they have any of the puffs 
I still like the bars really well. In fact, because you all used my link, I was able to get 36 bars free. And I ordered the Oreo and the peanut butter. So I got 36 bars free. So if you want to use my link and sign up for their emails, they'll email you when they have new things. And if you choose to order, if you use my code, Mary Ellen, you'll get a 10% discount. I will earn a little, and then I'll earn points to get some more bars. But for me, I, I really, really enjoy them. If I did Instagram and Twitter and Facebook, I could get that information out to you really quickly. I have an account on Facebook. I have an account on Instagram and Twitter, but I just don't use it. I, if my kids send me, I'll get like an email if one of my kids sit, put something up like photos, but I just don't get on, on Facebook. And I could also tell you about sales, like what I'm getting ready to tell you. I don't know if it's still on sale or not. I went to QVC.com and looked to see what their superhero mascara was selling for, and I bought three of them for $29. So that makes them $10 a piece. I throw away my mascara the first day of every season and get a fresh one out. So I was really happy about that. And while I was on QVC, I saw they had some It Cosmetics Pillow Lips Solid Serum, and I hadn't heard anything about these, so I decided to order them, and I think they were like two for maybe $27. I have this one on and I'll put the color below right now. But I really do like them. I put this on probably about three hours ago and I'm going to try the darker one. I've already tried it and I like it. But I want to show you how easy it is. You just click it up one time and that's it. And it does not spread anywhere. It doesn't go up any tiny fine lines. Makes your lips feel really good. And the lighter color seems to stay longer than the darker color. But they're supposed to be a treatment. I don't know if they are, but I know I like them and I was happy to find them. Something else I've done recently that I've really been enjoying, I subscribed to the SouthernIllinoisan.com. That's a, a, a newspaper in Carbondale, Illinois, and it covers Southern Illinois. And I did it online and I just go to my computer and I just go page by page and it's just like reading the newspaper. And then I saw a notice from the Evansville Courier that's in Evansville, Indiana. They're about as far apart. We're about an hour away from both places. And I subscribed to their e-edition and I think it was a dollar for six months. So I'm going to give that a try. The Southern Illinoisan, I, am, I think I subscribed for a year for $29.99. So I already have in my new book of 2022 what date I need to decide if I want to keep it or not because they will automatically charge you. Okay, this is just kind of a little uh, tip. It's I hate to say hack, but it's kind of like a little hack, but it works really, really well. At Christmas, I bought quite a few of these. These are those package openers that have the ceramic tip and they have a magnet and you can put it on your refrigerator or anywhere that can be magnetized. I think they're great. So right after Christmas I thought, I kept getting tired of going into the kitchen to get my magnet and I thought just use an old ink pen. So what I did, I still love my Flex fr Friction pens. So when one of them runs out of ink, I put a red rubber band at the top and these work just as great to open up packages. Just, you know, put the tip up and I've got them in several places. So that's just kind of a little tip, a little hack. And I do have one fail and it's probably all due to my skin. You know, I can't use that AHA, BHA pill from The Ordinary because it kind of burns my face. And I still have a couple of the really gentle, very effective fruit enzymatic pills, kind of a gamage that I really like. I, but I was looking to see if they, the one that I loved the most was a, and it was like smoothie peely jam or something like that. And when I was looking on Amazon, I found this and I thought, I wonder if that's the same thing because they quit making the other one and it really was my favorite. It didn't have any particles in it. Um, so you knew whatever you rolled off was your skin and it, when you got done, your skin looked great. Well, this is a jelly glow peel. It's a gentle exfoliator with fruit enzymes, very reasonably priced. And I put it on my face 
and it wasn't there 30 seconds and my skin started burning. So I'm not going to use this. This is by the company Bliss. It's cruelty free. It's, it's a really good product, but I'm going to go ahead and give this to my daughter and I know it'll be good for her skin or her son's. So I'm just going to keep using the enzyme pills that I have and keep looking for another one. And if you're still here, this is going to be a giveaway. And today what I want to give away are two $50 e-gift cards that you can get any place where you can get an e-gift card or a $50 deposit in your PayPal or your Venmo. So the only thing you have to do to enter is in your comments below, mention the word summer. Just mention the word summer in your comment and that way I can load up the comments after three days I'll, I'll choose a winner go to random comment picker and I can just have them look for the word summer and only the people that use that will come up and then I'll hit the little button and winners will appear and you have to be 18 years old or older and that's it I'm gonna miss my winter pajamas and my furry furry blanket but uh, it is all good Thank you all for watching, for commenting, for giving me the thumbs up. I appreciate it more than you will ever know. I will see you in my next video and take care. They're called Ball, Bowl Cold from Fab, Fab, from Fab and Glab that I put some like older have on. you DYIers but I thought why not I've been doing this I 